What's up, YouTube fam? This is Brandon right here. What's up, y'all? We're Broadway Paving. Got our son a brand new watch. Yeah. Up here, got it done. Look at this. They got the uh, Jubilee Pepsi, and they're getting it for their son's birthday. We just sized it and everything, and look at this fit right here. Blake, let me see this hand one more time. Other hand. Thank you, sir. All right, let's slide it on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and help you close this real quick. And we got it at the point where it's got this perfect fit for him. There we go. Show everybody your Pepsi. Show everybody, Blake. Yeah, you show it to the camera. There you go, Blake. <laughs> Probably the cutest thing that you guys guys are gonna see in all of our Wolfen episodes right now. <laughs> he doesn't wow. know what to do. So cool. Yeah, he's a big man now. He's got himself a Rolex watch, uh, cutest customer we've had. So congratulations, Brandon, Blake. Yes, awesome. I just got a call from uh, Andrew, uh, one of my owners, okay? He's the one that I've been kind of working on this yacht with you for. So I just found out Two watches. First one that I offered you for the Yacht Master, really good price, firm. I, we talked, we can't, there's no room uh, whatsoever. So 41.5 is my best on that one. For But now I just found one two years newer. And that was the 2018 that I sent you, right? Okay. I found a 2020 Mercedes hands that I can get for same price. That's my floor, I'm doing that for you, but I can get it same price, 2020. And it was literally posted like an hour ago, so it'll be gone like that. Let's get pictures of it. Okay, uh, let me see if I can get pictures. I'll text it to you. Two years newer for same price, 41.5. That would be sick. Let me get you photos and see if we can yeah. do it. Okay, yeah. there it is, that's it. That's the 2020. Yeah. It doesn't look as pretty as that one. I guess the other one is just professional pictures. Lighting, yes. Now this one, yeah, no, it's literally lighting. Remember how I told you not all of my sources totally understand like the retail side of things, so they will take it really quick and go. That's what this These guy did the with the 2020. Right? These are all the links right here. Normally they're not connected. We just connected them so that they don't rub against each other. You guys have a great one. Yeah, for sure. I, I understand you can shop me around. I will say this, it's a competitive piece. Like if you get offers that are better, just give me a chance to uh, take a look at what those offers are. I'm proud of my prices, but I'm also, you know, we stand by our business and our products and everything. So I'm sure that we could work something out. Um, I'm very confident that we could get somewhere. So, you know, let me know what you're looking at. But I do think that 10.5 is, uh, with where the market's at, that's a solid starter. And you just let me know what you're thinking. Yeah, absolutely, my pleasure. You have a great day. We buying watches. So I really wanna buy this guy, uh, Muhammad's sub. It's a black sub. New reference with a date, the 126610LN, because I have another client of mine who's looking for a really great deal on one of those right now, and he would like to get one. But for me to be able to get it where his budget range needs to be, right now I probably need to buy it stock so if Muhammad's works out for Lance then it's a win-win-win so we'll see what we can do yeah you know it's automatic yeah tell traffic the hard drive I'm ever okay. caught track so we're just headed to the bank but I thought since I had a few moments uh, to spare that I would show you guys a really cool watch that we have in inventory and this is actually I've talked about it a little bit before this is the white gold John Mayer this is just honestly a beautiful watch. It's such an understated, yet it's a very loud watch. The reason being is because you wouldn't expect this to be all white gold. And whenever you do go to show somebody this watch, you can definitely feel the heft. And that's honestly what I love about white gold is it's such an understated watch. But also the thing that really makes this watch pop in general is that beautiful blue dial. And I mean, this blue, as far as the Rolex lineup, it doesn't get much better than this. They've started to make some brighter blues. They have the the blue that they make on the Submariner Bluesy, and then they have the new blue green that they make on the Skydweller. Those are very comparable, I would say, to the best blues that Rolex makes. However, this one to me, I just, I love that blue, how it's so vibrant and it has that sunburst look to it. But then you also get those little red accents in there, and it's on a modern watch because the John Mayer and this one and the Paul Newman are the only three that you could get with those red accents, like kind of paying tribute to the racing dot. And so that to me is what's really cool about this watch. That's what I love about it. And if you have like a sports team that is, their colors are blue and red, this is the watch to get. We have the Rangers here in Texas. So 
I would definitely wear this to any Rangers game, but honestly, like you can wear this watch anywhere. Blue goes with a lot of different things and it's also a little bit more interesting than just getting a normal black dial. So this to me is like the perfect combo out of all the Weichel Daytonas, aside from maybe the Meteorite, this is definitely my favorite one. So we have this one available. It doesn't have the boxer papers. However, it's at a very good price. And so if you guys are interested in this watch, feel free to reach out. This is honestly a too good of a deal to pass up. So reach out about this one and don't miss out on it. And let me ask you this, when you say that it's a little more reasonably priced, because I want to find something that you love, what would make you feel good about paying cash for this watch and just adding it straight to the collection? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm looking at Crown of 24 right now. And, you know, I mean, I, once again, I know the pitfall of the Crown of 24. Yeah. But there's, you know, I mean, it, it, assuming, assuming these are, you know, these are retail prices to me, you as a dealer probably have some relationships with these guys that have got these things posted. But, you know, there's a dozen of them. $32,000 range. Yeah, okay, okay, I understand. So. Yeah, and some of those are gonna be, you know it, because you're familiar with it. Some of them are bait and switches, but some of them are there, and let me see you know, what I can do. I'll say this too, uh, if I can find a great price on one, I absolutely will, since you're open to different ears. I'll pitch it to you, see what you think. That's why I reached out to you from the beginning, because I'd like to deal with brick and mortar places. Yeah, exactly. Well, that sounds good. I have my work cut out for me uh, in regards to looking for one, and you just let me know what you think as you kind of mull over those consignment options. I'd probably do 12 and 14 on consignment. If not, I'll just find you a great deal, and we'll see if you love it. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for reaching out, Dad. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you, Joseph. Thanks for the opportunity. Joseph reached out to me recently, and we were talking about two of his watches that he's looking to trade. Very unique vintage watches. One was a 1.2 million serial meters first Submariner. The white letters, it's 1966. It's really, really vintage and beautiful. And I personally, for subs, I have kind of fallen in love with vintage. We had that one sub that came through uh, in one of the last episodes with that patinaed grayish black bezel is still by far one of my favorite subs to this day. I just like that they have this twist to the classic look of the Black Submariner. So we were talking about him trading that watch and trading a flat four Kermit, which is also a very unique piece where when you look over on the bezel, the four doesn't come to that point. It has that originally an error from Rolex, but it has that flat top to the four and it became uh, kind of special and collectible. Unfortunately, there are no cards for these pieces, so at that point, uh, I had to work with him a little bit on that and say, hey, you know, they lose their collectability a little bit, but if I can find a really great price on a Cookie Monster, which is his gold piece, and maybe we can sign these, maybe we can come towards the middle. And we'll see, he's thinking about consignment. If not, he might just buy the Cookie Monster outright because Joseph likes to collect his pieces anyway. He doesn't sell very often. And we'll just keep working this deal until we can see it through. Have you seen one yet or no? Uh, this is the first, first one, one I've passed through actually. Rip it open. It's a 15th anniversary yeah. gift. Yeah. 15 years. Yeah, on July 4th. On July 4th, Which is so pretty exciting. a week early. Yeah, so literally next week, July 4th, 15th anniversary for Joey and his wife. He's getting a watch as his uh, anniversary gift, and also it's 4th of July, so fireworks. Exactly. Bada bang, bada boom. And I can't wait. So far, so good, right? <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know, bro. Man. It's smoking. It's so good. Wow. Yeah. That so clean. That is amazing. And I love I, I, the, uh, especially with the Panda, I love the steel casing around this ceramic Oh my bed. god. It's so good. I've never seen one in person myself. It's amazing. 2024, <laughs> brand new, box awesome. papers, dated June, everything with it. This is the big shebang. Dude, people, people are gonna flip them. Let's get that size. <laughs> yeah, so let me take a look at it. Yeah, let's see what you need here. Amazing. Perfect, let me get this size for you. And congrats. Amazing. Thank you. All right. Dude, this is tight. So as tight as it will go in this setting, and I have mm -hmm. room to make it looser without adding a link. So okay. let me know. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, awesome. So I've never had it. Yet. So how does the second hand work? So the second hand is only going to work when you're using it as a chronograph stopwatch. Okay. So right now it's. So you no, wind it like this. These guys 
unscrew them for because they're they're also screw down pushers. Mm -hmm. So you once they're unscrewed and they're loose, mm -hmm. you can this is start and stop. So second hand is going around now. Uh -huh. Stop reset. And yep. then what are these other dials? The little smaller ones. So the bottom one here is going to be your second hand. Yep. You see that's right. And then this is 10, 20, and 30 minutes. So it starts at zero because 10, 20, and 30 for if you just keep that running. What do you mean? Basically, say you start your stopwatch, mm -hmm. your, your chronograph, and you're like, okay, I want to time something. Yeah. They designed it because it's a racer watch, yeah. right? They designed it so that it will tell you how many minutes you're on if you've oh, gone up to 10 minutes. So what is it? So you don't have to memorize, you know, oh. where, wait, wait, what time did I start my, no, it's, yeah. it's telling you how many minutes and then this is gonna be hours. Got it. So, so it goes up to 12 hours. So right now it's 30 minutes and 12 hours? Uh, zero and zero. Oh, it's, oh yeah, I it's, see. It's, zero. And then it'll go around to the right and that would be 10, 30 minutes 20, and 12. I yes. see. And then 12, okay. Yes, exactly. Now, are you gonna use it that long? No. You tell me, <laughs> but yeah, probably not. But basically, uh, if you did use it for a couple minutes and you were just timing something, say you were running and you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna use this today, yeah. right? And you did a quick run and you're like, I wanna see, you know, from uh, for about two minutes or whatever, and I don't wanna be looking at my time and I just wanna use the actual chronograph, then it will, the minute marker will go from that 30 at the top, which is also zero, it'll go to one to two every minute that you pass. Oof. Get some comments. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not many people will see them. Yeah, Amazing. congratulations, Joey. Thank Pleasure you. working with you. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm excited for you. All right, Joey. Happy anniversary! Congratulations on your brand new new reference Panda 2024. Everything with it, and it looks so clean. Super happy for you. All right, Josh. What's on your wrist today? What are you wearing today? Uh, we just got this back from Polish. This is a. Uh, they don't make white gold versions of this anymore, but it's a 326-939. It's white gold a sky dweller. So super, super nice. Nice weight to it. But this dial is probably my, one of my favorite. Sky Dweller dials. I just think it's super clean. It's a special watch without being super loud. So uh, definitely one on top of my list. I've always liked the Roman numeral version of the Sky Dweller. It just looks so, so much more special to me. And uh, I love these dials. So these old Sky Dwellers are a bargain these days. Uh, something like this, we have complete box papers and I think we have for like 35,000 and retail on these sky dwellers is like 52 plus tax. So by the time you walk out the door, it's almost $60,000. Uh, you can have that for almost half the price. So I personally like these. You'll never see these, they're discontinued. And uh, to me, I think it's just a special piece. So freshly serviced, freshly polished. Can't get any better than that. Hi, Andrew. How's your days going? Good, busy. But check this out. We're getting these in now. These are PVD Submariner. So if you guys like an all black watch, we are getting these now. We can get them in GMT, we can get them in Submariner, whatever you want. We're gonna be stocking more of the Submariner and GMT lineup. So if there's like a different watch that you want, like a Daytona all black, just let us know, we can get that done for you. But look how beautiful that finish comes out on this watch. It's so nice. So yeah, check them out, they'll be on our website. All right guys, now we've been in this business for quite a while now and what's funny is that you can start to notice some certain trends like one minute or like for an entire month we'll be we'll be selling like multiple different pandas or in another month we might be selling a bunch of different Pateks whether it be dress model, sport model, whatever and then the next month it'd be like an AP month which this month it really been, has been feeling like that. We've been getting a lot of APs and also selling a ton of APs as well so I wanted to just take a minute uh, before my client gets here to highlight one of the ones that is honestly one of my favorites that we've been recently able to sell. So uh, that is of course a 26331. This one specifically is the BA indicating that it's yellow gold. So with AP, they really reserve their yellow gold. They don't really make a lot of yellow gold these days. A lot of them, they, they get put on like these special editions or limited run production pieces. And then also like the, the 16202 Jumbo as well. So I, I found it very intriguing that they decided to make a 26331 with the blue dial. I also think it just really stands out and pops. It kind of gives it like a very elegant flair to a luxury sports model watch. I love the finish on the yellow gold. I'm typically more of a quiet luxury type of person. So yellow gold, definitely isn't quiet, but 
I, I think the way that they finish this in their natural way of being that sort of brush, but yet high polished sort of look, I think it does for an amazing job of kind of subduing that yellow gold and not making it too out there or extreme. So to me, I think this is the perfect amount of yellow gold. It kind of subdues the color a little bit. And then you also have the touches of high polish on the bezel. And then where the yellow gold really screams are in the sub dials. The contrast of it is just so sick. What's really unique about this one is that it's a brand new watch and it came out so long ago. It only really came out for a couple years. So to have this one in brand new condition is actually really hard to find. And my client was actually very adamant about getting a brand new version. So as soon as I gave him the call and told him it was brand new, he was ecstatic. I was trying to give him a certain expectation of like, hey, I'm not sure if we're gonna actually find the brand new one because it's gonna be maybe hard to find at this point because of how much time has passed since then. They've only really made it for a couple years. So it's like around 2018 to 2020 is whenever they really had him in production. And then I think they were still sold up until like 2021, right around there. This piece is just so unique. It's gonna go to a, a very awesome owner. He loves, and he is a huge fan of yellow gold. So it had to be yellow gold. If it was rose gold, I think I might've found one, a, a newer one a long time ago, but <laughs> this one took a little bit of time locating and finding. But now that we really did get to actually give him a brand new watch, I think that really solidifies our position with him. Just to give you guys some context, he was a referral. And even though you're a referral, there's still this this kind of like half built wall for certain people, especially if you first meet them and it's totally understandable. So he was like, you know, this is our first time doing business. So I just want to make sure that it's perfect. And look, I totally understand, which is why we try and go above and beyond and make sure that that those things happen. The fact that we were able to get it brand new, I know he's going to come back and he's going to get even cooler pieces in the future. He's already talking to me about a yellow gold Patek. So we'll see exactly which one he's willing to go with. Anyways, Thank you for your business. You know who you are. And I'm going to get this wrapped up and uh, get it ready for him to pick up. Well, the, I had a private offer for 51,000, which is 11,000 pounds, about 13,000 US uh, private offer, but yeah. that will be on Chrono 24, but that's going to be, I'm not getting back, I'm not getting back for 10 days. And then it's got to yeah. go to escrow and it's going to yeah. have two weeks from there to get to the UK and then to release it. So we'll look yeah. at over a month. Yep, so. yep. And, and definitely I understand that there can be a little bit of a headache with uh, selling online, all of that. For me, um, you know, I'm paying a little bit stronger than your guy in Dubai and, and I'm happy to. I do understand mm -hmm. how you value that piece as well. And on the other two, I'm paying five and 55. Uh, so that gets you up to that 19,750 uh, put together. So the new IWC Portuguese, it's only been out a few weeks. Is that the, it's half price already? <laughs> so yeah, the unfortunate thing is like, uh, it, it really just depends on where they go secondary market because sometimes mm. they just don't hold their value as well. Uh, and if there's a track record for other pieces that are similar, they don't always launch mm. out with a really big arc. They may go straight under. Depends on the first ones that come out. Like the, I, I will say for the uh, Rolex GMT, the new one that, you know, they came out the Bruce Wayne. That one, yeah. it did launch with a quick arc, uh, but I mean, within a matter of probably like mm. two, three weeks from seeing the first one hit the US, I've already seen it come down about five grand, actually more because the first one was Oyster. So maybe, you yeah, know, seven yeah, grand yeah. coming down. So they go pretty quickly. And so what's happening in the luxury market at the moment then? Because it seems to be quite a lot of, obviously the big boys have fallen, you know, the, 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 uh, the Holy Trinity all dropped by so, considerable amounts, right? I would say, uh, so actually, I would say from, from my perspective, everything that we've seen is this. Yes, uh, I'd say kind of the beginning of this year, turn of the year, it's normal for there to be some calming down in the market a little bit. And then when we hit kind of March and April, we did see the market kind of settle out a bit, which is why some of my clients, uh, they're buying right now because they are expecting it to go back up towards the end of the year. That's more highly likely. At least that's what we're expecting. There's no crystal ball. And in general, the, the whole of the market now this is gonna be a generalization, of course, because every individual piece is different, but the whole of the market has actually stayed pretty well for the last bit, especially like if you're dealing in, uh if you're dealing in Rolex, and if you're talking about the Holy Trinity, Patek, it, it depends on the individual model. Like we could talk, if you yeah. let me know which model you're looking at, I could do a little bit more digging, get you some more specific information on it. Um, but in general, some pieces have actually gone up over the past few months already. 
Uh, so it depends on which one you're looking for. I'm just, I'm just very surprised how well the VC date is holding its value and actually going. It seems to be going a lot more than retail, considering the dual, the dual time, and the chronograph have lost quite a bit of value. So the date is seems to be uh, well, quite sought after. So you're looking at the 4500V, right? Let's do. Yeah, uh, is- yeah, I could get you some options on those and just show you kind of where they're at, and I could get you for some more information to get you a better idea of kind of how this piece holds. Let's do this then. How about uh, so we're looking at 19750 for all those pieces together right now. I can look up some options, and I know you said you were getting an offer in Dubai for 29 on that watch. Uh, do you? That, I'll, I'll look for comparable offers if I can. And if I don't have one yeah. in store by the time you're here, we could source one for sure, and we could set up like the timing and everything to make sure you're able to get it. Hey, look, man, I know you're on the other side of the world, and I appreciate your help, but you, you say that guy, you say that if this deal is as good as what you think it is, and I'm taking a hit on these other watches and perhaps losing $10,000 on it, do you think it's worth doing it if you're making it up in the other end with a VC? Uh, that's a good question. If you are dealing with somebody who's going to give you a great relationship for the future, warranty like I give you, access like this to be able to just have a conversation with somebody who knows the market. Yeah. And I've got experts in my store who can help provide yeah, yeah, like yeah. super deep information on you know pieces <laughs> that if you're looking for history yeah. on pieces, yeah. all this stuff, then yeah, I would say in that case, if you're paying a little bit of a premium to be able to offload to a dealer who's not like a private buyer or private offer, but then you're also, mm. you know, we're gonna do our very best to treat you good on the next piece as well, and then the next and yeah. the next, I could, I would say then, yeah, yeah. yes, in that sense, it might be worth it to do that rubber band effect and get a good price on the VC, get uh, offload those other pieces to me, and I'm also, you know, I'm gonna take them on trade so not everybody's gonna take it on trade as a, exactly one transaction. You gotta sell it to somebody, go buy the piece somewhere else. I'm, sure. gonna, I'm gonna do yeah. it all in one for you. Well, have a look, see what your VCs are coming in for then. It, it, uh, it, it kind of 22 year in, in good nick. And um, yeah, just get back to me. Absolutely, I will. Thank you, Simon, I appreciate the opportunity. All right, that was Simon from Saudi. He's actually traveling right now uh, on vacation, still over in the Middle East, but in about four weeks, he's gonna be here in the US. So. Uh, he's looking to trade three pieces, IWC, Bulgari, Glashut, and he has three that we're working with. We're just working out offers right now, numbers, and then I'm gonna do some digging on the 4500V stainless Vacheron. He loves that blue dial and would like to get that. That's kind of like his next piece. In the long run, he's looking for a data graph that might be next year. So if we start a great relationship, then uh, Simon, I look forward to doing business with you. Why don't you send me the wire instructions and I'll just wire the cash. Okay, yeah, perfect, sounds great. We'll do more business in the future now that I, I know who you guys are. No, yeah, I appreciate it. Honestly, it's great that you were able to get this experience because I, I, know, I know a lot of what we're capable of and this is like best case scenario of like, Getting it almost the same day, and glad we were able to make that date for your wife. So yeah. I'll, I'll make sure it's just specially wrapped and everything for you. Perfect, man. Alrighty, Michael. Thank you so much, Caleb. Take yes, care, sir. buddy, and I, I greatly appreciate you, okay? Yes, sir, likewise. Thank appreciate you. your business, and I'm glad we were able to make it happen for you. This case, it was kind of like, one of those times where like, all the stars and moons and the universe kind of aligns. There are things that happen every now and then, like a, a dealer might not be able to ship immediately or you know i'm waiting on something for some reason or wire hasn't quite hit yet so i can't ship it off right you know in the same day and all that stuff it's really cool we've gotten to a point where now we're, we're, we're getting lots of word of mouth clients and so uh, there was a client that i had uh, done some business with and I hadn't heard from him in a few months i believe and he kind of texted me out of the blue saying hey can you get this watch and i quickly looked it up and seemed like one was available and he says okay uh, let me let me tell my friend because I guess it's for his friend, for his wife's uh, 50th birthday. So uh, he kind of made the referral, was kind of doing, playing middleman for a second, and said that, yeah, hey, my guy said he has it and we could potentially get it done. So he quickly put me in contact with him and within about five minutes of me texting my client back, I'm already on the phone with my other now client that's ordering this date just for his wife. So yeah, within five minutes, he already knew exactly what it was. I described to him exactly what he needed. And so uh, we now have the watch here, which I'll show you guys. The 126231 36 millimeter two-tone rose gold Datejust with the pink dial, kind of like a pink sunburst. 
and then it has the diamonds at uh, six and nine with the Roman numerals. So it really stands out, really pops, very classy and clean look. So this is the watch that his wife had really wanted. We were able to get it literally the next day. And by tomorrow, which is Saturday, he should be able to have it ready for pickup. So I'm really excited for him, his wife. Uh, it's gonna be a really nice surprise. Congratulations, Michael, and congratulations to Michael's wife. I did find a great deal on a 2016 complete set mint condition Hulk that I just sent you a photo of right now. The price on this one, I can't get it down to 19. I know you wanted to be 19, but this one, I can get it to you for 20 even if that works for you. Tony even? Yes. Um, and in this, this dealer you 100% trust, I trust you guys. Uh, so, so basically it would be our label that he's dealing with. So it, it would still be my shipping and my label and my insurance on it. So that gives me the peace of mind to be able to do something like this. This is a guy that uh, we work with consistently. So that also is another thing that can give you peace of mind that yes, I'm dealing with somebody that I have uh, dealt with a lot. And then beyond that, it's not just my word. Uh, I don't know if you ever ended up meeting or talking with Andrew in person. He's one of the founding owners as well. But I have Andrew who would be doing all of our traditional checks and making sure everything's ready and set to go, working everything out with our source to be able to get that to you. Uh, and make sure everything's good to go. So yes, sir, I would be confident that you would be well taken care of. All right, I, I'm satisfied. Uh, you said 2016? Yes, 2016 mint condition complete set. Box papers like you asked. Thanks, bro. All right. My pleasure, we'll be in touch. So I'm helping Deshaun to get a Hulk for tomorrow. It was a super tight time crunch. It's funny, Caleb was just talking about quick turnarounds, clients who know what they want, want it right away, and they just pull the trigger. And that was this guy, he called me yesterday, he's like, I want it by the weekend, and we're figuring out a way to pull some strings, make it happen. I found him a really great condition 2016 Hulk that I think he's gonna love, and I'm gonna deliver on time, and I think he's excited about it, I am too.